what's up guys and welcome back to my channel Patol Information, a place for busy people and dream chasers looking to achieve their goals in a more efficient way. So if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Ira and I do project management, self-improvement and the occasional lifestyle video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if that sounds interesting to you. And if you're one of my lovely subscribers, thank you for coming back. I really do appreciate you. And let's get straight into this video. So guys, basically in this video, I'm just here to remind you that it's almost July and that means that 2022 is almost half over. Wow, that, 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 that's a lot for me to take in right now. So I'm just going to take it in. Let me take it in. I don't know about you, but at the beginning of the year, if you watch my vision boards video, you know that I had a lot of goals and a lot of things that I set out to do. It's time to evaluate that guys you do not wait until the end of the year to see if all the things you wrote down at the beginning of the year you know are on the way to being completed no 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 it is mid-year review i know you're doing it at work so also you need to have that same attitude towards your own personal goals and your life in this video that's exactly what we're gonna do and if you're doing your mid-year review and you're finding yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Things are not quite doing as they're supposed to do. Then I've got a couple of things that you can do to get yourself back on track. We are not going to fall off. We are going to stay on track. So let's get it popping. First of all, you need to go back to the start. You need to go and, you know, whether it's a vision board, you need to go and get that off the wall and have a thorough look. Whether you just wrote down your goals and your targets for the year on a piece of paper, go and find that piece of paper. I don't know if it's crinkled up behind your bed. The dog ate it, go and get it from the dog. Go and get that piece of paper because it's time to look at it and it's time to evaluate. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go grab my vision board and yeah, let's talk about that. Cool guys, so this is my vision board for 2022. And if you haven't watched that video, go and definitely watch that video. It's never too late to make a vision board. So I had a lot going on. So yeah, let's have a little look at that and see where we're at. And this is what you also need to do with your um, goals and your aspirations for the year. So in the self section, you know, I put over here that I want to be more in my word and there was a special scripture um, there. I'm going to be so raw and say I've referred back to that scripture probably like twice this year. Yeah, that's not great, but it's okay. Like the good thing is that I'm evaluating and I'm seeing where we're at. Do you know what I mean? So um, underneath that I have treat yourself. So that's me treating myself this year and I can say successfully I've been doing that, you know, I have been enjoying myself. I currently have four holidays out of my five holidays that I want to do this year booked. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I definitely believe I am starting to enjoy some of the fruits of my labor as well, which is something that I'm setting out to do. And also my emergency fund, which I wanted to um, save up for, I'm well on track to doing that. So that is looking good. Me and girl go have a personal talk. Let's talk about that later. Over in feminine love, which is my theme for this year, I could definitely say I definitely embraced that a lot right at the beginning of the year. Um, I'm still embracing it. I'm still embracing it, but um, it's good to have a reminder of where I'm at. So. If you haven't watched my um, video on femininity and all of that, also go and check that out. It might be interesting to you so you can have a bit of context. Patol Emotion down below. Now, Patol Emotion is doing really, really great at the moment. And I can only thank you guys. So I really do thank you for that. I am halfway to my target. So around six months you know halfway to my target to over 10k subscribers by the end of the year so i'm really really happy about that project management courses i just completed a scrum course as well so i think i'm doing more and i'm learning more so i can also pour out into you guys um i put here that i want to you know speak at some kind of public event i haven't actually done that yet so mm, maybe that's one that i need to think about my strategy for and then the multiple streams of income i'm definitely up on that i have now got 
two streams of income whereas before no three streams of income whereas before i only had one so um that's really good i said i want to have four and i definitely got plans in place for that last one so that's great lastly then home this one i think is where i'm probably shining the most at the moment so i'm really really happy about that um i put here that i want to you know really embrace and, and make up my home a little bit more because i just recently bought a place i've been hosting a lot decorating a lot i haven't done any baking guys because you know i find that so difficult so i'm very much behind on that so anyway that is just a little snapshot of where i am on my goals for the year and i can see that some i'm really really doing well on so that is my number two tip now that you've evaluated where you're at you've seen the good you've seen the bad it is to celebrate the wins it is so easy and so so simple for us to just forget about the wins you know don't see how much progress we're making but it's really good to write that down if that works for you maybe put it in a little jar if that works for you maybe even just tick it off your list to acknowledge that okay this is a good thing that i've done for me personally i don't really feel like i need to physically tick it off because i have the physical reminder on my vision board of all the good things that i am achieving but i also have you know a visual reminder of the ones that i'm not achieving so much but one thing i've definitely done this year is to celebrate every single win so i hope you're also doing the same thing you may not be banging in every single area i appreciate that i appreciate that so what do you do about where you are slacking maybe it's a savings target for example you wanted to save let's say 500 pounds are you only saved 20 pounds and you only got six months left to go it's looking a bit sticky for you still when bad things are happening or you know tight spots are being experienced people tend to have two responses either fight or flight if you have decided to fight to the end you still want to make that goal i'm here for you and if you do have a goal that you're struggling with or you're a little bit behind on do drop it down in a comment below let's see how we can help each other out i'd really like to hear from you guys if you've decided you do want to fight my biggest advice to you to stay on track or to get yourself back to where you want to get to is to put a plan together guys i will bang on about plans plans and and i'm thinking ahead on my channel forever and ever amen because it makes you more productive it makes you more efficient it helps you to get where you need to get faster if you have no plan you're literally like a cell uh what's the what's the say you're literally like a boat without a cell you're just floating and floating and floating and hoping hoping you don't arrive in like cereal or somewhere you know i don't really like hope that much i'd rather plan it you really need to work from your your end goal to where you are and detail the steps of which you need to take to get there my number four tip is for you to get an accountability partner this is not the time for you to be quiet if you haven't told anyone about this goal you are struggling to meet this goal and 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 you really want to make it and you're serious about that and you haven't told no one you are not an island no man is an island we all need help so this will be a perfect time to tell a trusted somebody in your life that will be able to help you and encourage you along your journey to keep you motivated if it is to save that 500 pounds all right that trust is somebody every time you're on snap or you're on instagram and you're just eating 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 your 500 pounds they could be like oh my stop eating your 500 pounds eventually it will help you to stay on track sometimes you just need someone to give you a nudge in the right direction if you haven't got one already and you're serious about making this target you got six months to go all i'm gonna say is you might want to share that load by telling someone so they can help you get there then lastly my last tip so you can stay on track with your goals in 2022 is to start each day at zero each day is a fresh day yesterday you might have done a win but that doesn't mean you're gonna win today you need to have the same tenacity and the same drive so you can smash your goals for today likewise yesterday you might have taken a couple l's but that 
that does not mean that you need to experience those L's today. Every day is a new canvas and you decide how you want to paint it. Make sure you do this so that you can hit your goals. You're not bummed down from the mistakes yesterday and you're not on a massive high from the wins yesterday that you're no longer pushing towards the rest of your goals. Remember guys, your goals are just that. They are goals. They are not an indication of how great you are, how bad you are. They are just an indication of where you want to go and how you hope to get there. So it's great that you set them. If you haven't set them, go do that. But once again, start each day from zero and see where it takes you. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content. I actually can't believe it is about to be six months left to the end of the year, guys. Let me know what your goals are. How is it going? How, how are you feeling? I want us all celebrating at the end of the year and there's more than enough time to allow that to happen. Have a lovely week, guys. I hope to talk to you guys soon and I'll see you in my next one.